You probably already know that human blood comes in several different types. So we use a classification system known as the ABO system. And you either have A, B, AB, or O type blood. So let's talk about the donuts. I'm going to line these up as they are on the handout. So the A blood is with the red speckles and the B is with the blue. And then I have the AB with a mix of the red and the blue. And then I have my O with nothing on it. And these little specks represent antigens. Antigens are proteins on the surface of a cell that are kind of like a name tag. They tell you what it is. And antigens help our immune system figure out what cells are what. So HIV uh, virus has antigens on our surface that tell us it's HIV and COVID-19 has those. But our own cells have antigens too, and they tell us whether the cells belong to us or someone else. So I have type A blood, and I have A antigens, and they're saying, it's okay, this is A, and A is what I'm supposed to have. So these are the little proteins. Now we're gonna draw those on our handout. So let's start with the A blood. I'm type A, and that means I have B antibodies. So I have A antigens, but I have B antibodies because B is foreign to me. Someone who has B blood is the opposite. They have B antigens, but their immune system has A antibodies, and that's because A is foreign to them, so they have antibodies to attack it. If you have AB blood, you don't have any antibodies because A or B would attack your own blood. A and B are normal to you, they're not foreign. But if you have O blood, O blood does not have any antigens, which means it has both antibodies its immune system would attack A or B blood because both A and B are foreign if you have O blood. Now we'll add that to our handout. So for the A blood, you have B antibodies that would fit onto B antigens because B antigens are foreign to you. And if you have B blood, it's the opposite. You have A antibodies that would attack A blood if it came into your system because A blood is foreign to you. If you have A B blood, you have no antibodies because they would attack your own blood and that doesn't make sense for your immune system. But if you have O blood and you have no antigens, then you are gonna have antibodies to both A and to B, because both of those are foreign to you. So why does this matter? Well, when the first blood transfusions were done, nobody knew there were different blood types. So it was just kind of a crap shot whether or not you survived. But in reality, if you're given the wrong blood type, you die. Uh, your body cannot handle it. So I have A blood. Now what if you mix A antibodies into A blood? Well, remember, A antibodies look like this. They're going to hook right up with it just like this. So if you mix A antibodies into A blood, it's going to clump. But B antibodies mixed with A blood will do nothing because there are no B antigens on the surface. So let's see what it looks like if you mix those solutions with A blood. B is exactly the opposite. If you mix A antibodies with it, nothing happens because there are no A antigens. If you mix B antibodies with it, they're going to link right up with it just like this, and it's going to clump or agglutinate. So let's look at that. When you draw this on your handout, you can just show the clumping. So let's say I'll fill these in as though this is the blood. And if it clumps, it gets kind of nasty. So I'll just show like that to show the clumping. And that's what would actually kill you. If you have AB blood and you mix the A antibodies with it, they're gonna find the A antigens and clump. And if you mix B antibodies with it, they're going to find the B antigens and clump. So it will look like this. And if you have O blood and you mix O antibodies with it, 
or B antibodies with it, nothing happens because O blood has no antigens for those to attack. But think about in a case of a transfusion. Pretend I'm having a blood transfusion. I am type A blood. I have B antibodies. Now imagine they give me B blood to try to save my life. What will happen is my B antibodies will attack the B blood. It will clump right inside my blood vessels. My blood will all be clumping inside of me, and I would die. The same is true if you gave me AB blood, because those B antibodies would still attack the AB blood. But I would be fine if I had got O blood, because there are no antigens on that blood for my body to attack. Let's talk about how common these are. So let's start with the most common blood type. The most common blood type is actually O, with almost half of people having O blood. 44% have O blood, but it's followed very closely by A blood, like I have. 42% of people have A blood, so there aren't a lot of people left to have B or AB. 10% of people have B blood, roughly, and only 4% of people have AB blood. That one's really unusual. There's something I left out though, and you may have noticed I didn't talk about positive or negative. The reason I didn't talk about positive or negative is because sometimes it's best to start simple and then go deeper. But positive blood, like I'm A positive, actually has another antigen on the surface. It's called the RH factor. And most people, whether you have A, B, AB, or O, are positive, so I'm A positive. The vast majority of people are positive. That means they have this extra antigen. I've now added that to all the blood cells because, like I said, most people have positive blood, A positive, B positive, and that actually means that you don't have any antibodies to the RH factor. If you happen to be negative, like let's make this O negative, no antigens, even the RH, then you are considered the universal donor because your blood cells have no antigens on their surface, so they are really invisible to anyone else's immune system, which is why O-negative blood is so special, and if you have it, you should donate as often as you can. But even if your blood is average, like me, I still donate as often as I can because lots of people can get A-positive blood. There's a different kind of blood that's kind of special, and that's AB-positive blood. These people can get any kind of blood and they'll be fine because look, they have A antigens and B antigens and RH antigens all over them, which means they have no antibodies to anything. So you throw in O blood, A blood, B blood, positive, negative, doesn't matter. No antibodies means they will not attack any kind of blood. One question I get a lot is, why is blood so complicated? What the heck is the point of having all these blood types? And I thought about that myself. Like, it just makes things complicated. It means if you're having a transfusion, it could kill you. How does that help us? And the answer is, it doesn't really help us as individuals. The changes, the differences, A, B, A, B, O, who knows which one humans had first. I'm sure that evolutionary biologists can find that out, but I'm not sure which evolved first which came later. The, the differences are just due to random differences uh, from genetic mutations. But the reason they persist is because those blood types for some reason have given some advantage to surviving something, some kind of disease, some kind of environmental pressure. So just a quick example of this, if you have AB blood, you are slightly more likely to survive if you're ever in intensive care for 90 days or more. If you have B blood, you are more likely to live to be 100 years old. If you have O blood and you get COVID-19, you're less likely to have a really bad uh, complication from COVID-19. Whereas if you have A blood like me, you're more likely to have complications. I couldn't really find any great things about having A blood, unfortunately, but somewhere in my ancestors' survival, this blood must have helped them out. So it's good in a population to have variety because if some disease comes along and it wipes out everybody with B blood, then at least there are other people left on earth. Talking about these donuts has made me kind of hungry. So I'm a horrible disease destroying people with B blood.
I hope this helped you. Now I'm going to talk with my mouth full. Better understand blood types and why they exist and what the differences are. Please drop me a note in the comments to let me know if this helped. And if you know anything about how my A blood might actually help me survive something. Because it'd be nice to think there's, there's something good about my blood type. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.